Hi, this is Gaz from Aurora Project. This is a quick tutorial on how to do a pre-save link for your next song. We're using Push FM, however your distributor may have a service that they recommend. Essentially the options will be similar, so you should be able to follow along. I'm also using a Mac, and again that should make no difference as it's all browser based. Before we get started, the things you'll need from your distributor uh, obviously the song uploaded and approved and you will need to email them or contact them to get the pre-saved links. In our case we are using RootNote and they have emailed us the links which I have in a separate document. Okay first things first I'm going to click create new campaign then I'm going to click pre-save And then it's going to ask me, is the song already available on streaming services? I believe you can use this for songs that have been released. However, in our case, it's not released. So I'm going to click no. Next step. OK, it's going to ask you some basic details to get started. Firstly, the song name, spots to stripes, uh, artist or band name, in our case, Aurora Project. Would you like to add a custom description? I've ticked no. That's in case you want to label what your link is. The pre-save URL. This is what you're actually going to share with your fans. So I'd choose something relevant to the song. In our case, I'm just going to use the word spots. Okay. It will tell you if that's available. You can then upload an image. In our case, the artwork. It will then ask you, would you like to promote your website? which is after people have clicked the pre-saved link. In our case, we've put our Spotify artist page in there. You can add an appropriate uh, label to the button, such as listen, buy, or a link to your website, or some custom text, if you wish. If we then click next step again, this is where you're actually putting in the pre-saved details. So this is where you will need the information from your distributor. Okay, first it's going to ask you, is the release date the same across all platforms? I've clicked no, actually, but it is the same just because I've set this up manually in each one. You then for each service, click edit. And then if you go into the document or where you have your pre-saved links, you can copy and paste as I'm doing here. Make sure it's to the actual album release or song release. Copy. And then put that in there. And then you can change the release date if it happens to be different. And then you can do the same for Deezer. And the same for iTunes, or you can obviously disable if these are not available to you. And you can click next step. And then this is really the last part. This is where you can just label the campaign. Again, I'm just going to call it spots, but this will allow you to keep track of the campaign and see how it performs. If you then click launch campaign, it's all done. The link should be active and it should on push FM show up like this and give you the link, which you can then click on, which will take you to the actual pre-save that you will be giving to people. And this is what they will see. So in our case, here's our pre-saved link. It shows the name of the song, Spots the Stripes. And if you click on Spotify, it will save it to people's Spotify. And there you go. There's the details added to pre-save. Our song will be released on the 4th of December, 2020. If you click listen, it will take you to our profile on Spotify, which is what we set up earlier, as we don't have a specific website to direct people to. Thanks for watching. Our first song, No Hiding, is out. If you're watching this after the 4th of December, Spots to Stripes will also be available on Spotify. 
If you're interested, please follow our profile. If you want more videos like this, let us know in the comments and we can do more tutorials on how we set up stuff as a band. I'm not sure if this is something people will be interested in, but we thought we'd give it a go. Thanks for watching. See you soon.